it's meal prep time and I'm making black eyed peas and ham soup. So I have black eyed peas soaking, so they've been drained. They're double the size now. If I grab my container, I'll show you. And I have, whew, sorry, steamed up the Trinity, the, well, not the Holy Trinity from um, down south. There's no uh, green pepper. It's onion, celery, and carrot. And I'm going to add water. There's ham bone. And then when the soup is almost ready, I'll add the fresh spinach and then some flavoring. And I already have a potato bread resting, waiting for us to have with the soup. So I've added enough water to cover the ham bone. And I've already added the... Uh, black eyed peas in there and about a quarter cup of chopped parsley and dill. Just going to mix this up and I'm going to taste it for salt. I'm going to be very cautious about the salt because I'm using the ham bone which is salty. And then tip for today, prep your veggies when you bring them home. Onions, celery, carrots, Ooh, excuse me. It makes your job during the week so much easier. So I'm going to let this come to a boil, turn it down to a simmer and then cook it till the beans are or the peas, the black eyed peas are ready. And then last thing I'm gonna do is wash the spinach and add that at the very last. All right, it's come up to a boil. I did add a teaspoon of the better than bullion vegetable base. I'm all out of the beef or chicken base. So that will add some nice um, texture and flavor. And I'm gonna add the rest of this tomato paste from the other day when I made the homemade tomato soup. So nothing goes to waste. At least I try not to let things go to waste. And don't worry about the stuff that's at the top. It will dissipate or you could skim it off if you want. But I have all the herbs in there so I'm just going to mix it. Now I'm just going to let it simmer on medium low for as long as it takes for the black eyed peas to get soft. Tender. Not mushy. So this is what the soup looks like about 40 minutes later. Yep. And I'm stirring in, off the heat, the spinach. So I'm just pulling off the woodsy stems. And the bean, or the black-eyed peas are perfectly cooked. They're still together, but they're, um, you know, they're not hard to the bite, to the tooth. So I'm going to keep adding the spinach. I'm using the entire 40-ounce bag. It's a lot of spinach. It's okay, it'll wilt right down. There it is, soup's done. I picked a little bit of the meat off the bones. The bones went to the dogs. They're so happy. And I'm gonna slice up some bread and I'll show you what it looks like all served up. There it is, all served up with some fresh Woo. bread. Oh, <laughs> um, I busted into the bread wow. <laughs> with some coconut spread and homemade lemonade. You just me up, you paid for it. Good thing he's not paying a penny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's all, it's all, he, yeah, at the end of the meal, Paul usually goes, I'd order that again. <laughs> it's really good. So there's the soup, and everybody's happy. The dog's got the ham I'm bone. Happy. <laughs> Hubby's happy. So we're going to go enjoy our meal. Hopefully you had something nourishing and delicious tonight as well. And we'll see oh. you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.